this tiny, warty, grumpy looking amphibian is the Fowler's Toad. They can be found in a wide range of aquatic habitats all over the eastern United States. Where I live in Connecticut, they tend to be found on sandy soils at the edges of water bodies. These toads are a minute two to three inches long at full maturity, which makes them a perfect bite-sized morsel. However, like many other toads, ending up in the mouth of a predator like a fox isn't the end of the world. They can secrete a mild, foul-tasting toxin, giving them a chance to emerge mostly unharmed after a run-in with a predator. The glands that release this toxic liquid are what we call their warts. The Fowler's toad's pattern is what distinguishes it from other toads found in its range. Although their skin tone can vary depending on the area that they're found in, these tiny toads share some common characteristics. First, they have multiple small warts in each of the dark spots that cover their backs and sides. They also have a mostly plain, creamy white unspotted belly and a light dorsal stripe. During the evenings, these nocturnal amphibians hop out into the open. Dinner usually consists of small invertebrates like snails, worms, and crickets. It's also during this time, usually after a rain in the late spring and early summer, that they breed. Males call to females from the water, and females lay strings of up to 25,000 eggs, which are then fertilized by the singing males. After hatching, these tadpoles subsist on a mostly vegetarian diet of algae, only transitioning to a fully carnivorous diet when they leave the water. These toads' population status is of least concern, meaning that their populations are pretty healthy and stable. Their main threats are habitat loss and water contamination. Amphibians like the Fowler's toad are known as indicator species, which means that their population health is indicative of the health of their ecosystems. This is largely due to their very sensitive, absorbent skin that causes them to react extremely to water impurities and pollution. Because of their prevalence in areas like drainage ditches, the ecosystems of Fowler's toads are especially susceptible to the effects of runoff chemicals. One way to ensure that their habitats and our watersheds stay clean is to avoid using pesticides and herbicides in our yards and gardens. Putting these chemicals into the environment gives them a chance to leach into our water sources, wreaking havoc on ecosystems and endangering species like the Fowler's toad. I hope this video taught you something new about the Fowler's toad. If it did, please like this video, subscribe, get outside, and remember to take a closer look at the wild world around you.